For new employees commencing mid-year, set up your employee in the normal manner. For assistance with this, please view the tutorial Setting up an employee. For a new employee starting mid-year, a start date is essential in order to ensure that the employee is added to the payroll in the correct pay period. It is also a requirement when submitting new employee details to HMRC. The employee's start date must be entered in the designated field provided in the Employment tab. After a start date has been entered, a previous employment section will become available in order to enter previous employer and pay history for the current tax year. If the employee has worked elsewhere in the current tax year, complete the previous employment details by entering the PYE reference of the employee's previous employer, the employee's date of leaving and their tax code from their previous employment. If the tax code at the time of leaving was applied on a week one month one basis, tick the box provided. If the employee's tax code is on a cumulative basis, complete the amounts from previous employment section. Finally, if the tax figure to be entered on the P11 deductions working sheet differs from the amount stated in box 7 on their P45, record the adjusted total tax to date amount in the field provided. Once all employee details have been entered, simply click Save Changes to add the employee record. As soon as the employee record is saved, BrightPay will inform you that a P45 Part 3 or a P46 must be completed and an asterisk will be placed next to the employee's name as a reminder until this action is completed. For new employees who have provided a P45 from previous employment, a P45 Part 3 can be completed and submitted to HMRC using BrightPay. To do this, select the P45 Part 3 option on the employee menu. On the P45 Part 3 screen, ensure that the employee details entered are correct and amend if necessary. Click Continue to confirm these details and to set the employee's start date. Should you need to undo the P45 Part 3 to make amendments, simply click Undo P45 Part 3 at any stage before submission to HMRC. When ready to submit the P45 Part 3 to HMRC, select the Send to HMRC tab. Click Start to begin the submission. Response messages will be displayed on screen during the submission. As soon as the file is received and accepted by HMRC, a success response will be displayed. To print a file copy of the P45 Part 3, simply select the Print tab. For new employees commencing mid-year who do not provide their new employer with a P45, a P46 can be completed and submitted to HMRC instead. To do this, select P46 on the Employee menu. On the P46 screen, ensure that the employee details already entered are correct. Then select the most appropriate statement which applies to the new employee. Click Continue to confirm these details and to set the employee's start date. To confirm, click Yes. Should you need to undo the P46 to make amendments, simply click Undo P46 at any stage before submission to HMRC. When ready to submit the P46 to HMRC, select the Send to HMRC tab. Click Start to begin the submission. Response messages will be displayed on screen during the submission.